unquestionably one of the great American living painters, but I, I know that your beginnings were much more modest. I, I recently heard that from 1972 to 1974, you were a security guard at this museum. So please, everyone, join me in welcoming you. Welcome you home. Thank you. <clears throat> Eric, it's, it's uncommon for artists at any stage of their careers to organize an exhibition, let alone something as big as this. Tell us, tell us about it. I found that uh, myself and my friends were um, uh, in a kind of an identity crisis. Not so much about art, but uh, about the future, about the country. Uh, it, it occurred to me that um, the general public wasn't going to ask the artist to help out with this problem. <laughs> <clears throat> but it was also a problem that wasn't just for the artist. It was something, a melez, that's uh, part of the American texture right now. And uh, so I thought, well, I'll, I know a lot of great artists, and so I will ask them if they could create a work of art specifically about America. And as the film uh, indicated we'd put this on the road, take it around to small towns, to universities, military bases, inner cities, and, and just to try to get people to use the, the language and experience that art provides as a way of uh, redirecting the kind of national conversation that we've been having and uh, you know, try to find a way of moving us back to a more centered uh, world. I've heard you talk about visual illiteracy as being one of the core thoughts behind this. Tell us about what visual illiteracy is. Maybe if we could uh, actually go to the um, Shining Sea image. Is that... There, oh, there it is. I'll, I'll use this as an ex example of, uh, of what, uh, how illiteracy works because, in fact, at this very moment, you're all participating in it. Uh, that I'm the only one in this room that's actually seen this painting in real life. It's a, it's a large-scale um, painting of an ocean done specifically for the America show uh, by the artist April Gornick. If you stand in front of the painting, as I did, one of the things you might discover in the experience of it is that you're standing as she has put you, as the artist has put you, she's standing, she's putting you at the uh, edge of the ocean, right at the very edge of a, of, a, of a border, a frontier. And it's larger than you are, uh, it's expansive, you feel much smaller in scale to what you're seeing. And you're looking out at the horizon. Now, she's put you in this place because you're going to be looking at something at a horizon that's uncertain for you. You're going to be looking past the tumultuousness of the, of the churning waves to a, uh, a, a clearer horizon, but one that is not specific. It's, it's something that you could be, as I felt, I was looking east, which means I'm looking out over the Atlantic. And looking out over the Atlantic means I'm looking back towards where I came from. And, uh, or you could be feeling that you're looking west, that you're standing on the Pacific side and you're looking west towards as far as we possibly could have gone. And so within this one painting, within this somatic experience that she's created, you f ha she has put you into the space between the two oceans, which is America, which is an incredibly profound, complex, and incredibly subtle Thing for a, an object to achieve. It's an experience that you won't get in reproduction. So maybe I can ask on behalf of all of us, how do we get visual literacy? Well, all the, all the arts are involved in uh, materials, techniques, etc. cetera, that, that the artist hones to, to a kind of specificity that makes for a clear, precise, and profoundly nuanced experience. And so the thing is to, to go to the original. I mean, I, I was uh, you know, listening to the music here this morning, and uh, 
And, you know, my body was responding to it. I was tapping, I was moving, I was something that was in the moment of this thing. I was also watching them with their instruments. It was an entirely different experience than were I to hear it on a radio. Uh, and then the experience, you know, on a radio is going to be different than hearing it in a digital form that's, you know, with really clear sound, et cetera, et cetera. Each one of those reproductions of the original experience removes you from the subtleties of it and therefore from the profoundness of it. So literacy is, is you taking America now and here all over the country. You're, you're introducing literacy. Well, <laughs> one aspect of it for sure. We're, <laughs> we're definitely trying to get people to have a direct relationship to the object and, uh, and maybe walk away with it. But the, the other aspect of the show, which I think is the most important one, is that through art, you, uh, you experience empathy. And it's the, it's the empathetic experience that's actually going to pull us back together again as a, uh, as a nation, as a community. Brilliant. AmericaNowAndHere.com is a website. Eric Fischel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.